should be locked. So you should put that particular uh, absolute reference there. Press enter again and simply drag and drop. So this Hello everyone! For today's video tutorial, we're gonna be working with a formula called choose. So not a common formula, uh, we mostly use lookup for this one instead of this uh, choose formula. But we will look at to this now, what is the benefit or what's the purpose of this particular formula called choose. So what it does, as based on the definition, it selects a specific value from the list of values provided. So the formula will look like this. So there's an index number and the possible values that you will have. So technically speaking, you can input a number into it and also you can put the values that you'd like to. So it's unlimited values if you want. So there's a short example in the, on your screen right now. It chooses a number 1, 2, 3. And on the right side of that, there is a formula of choose already being defined. So the index number chosen is C3, which is 1 at the moment. And there are four options. If you see, there is an apple, an orange, grapes, and lemon as an option. So in other words, there are four options we can have. So it simply means we can all have uh, we can have four numbers here that we can input so that it will give a result. So at this moment it is arranged as one, two, three. But if you randomly change numbers like three, it will give us the grapes because our formula on the third one is one, two, three. It is known as grapes. So if you put four on the other hand, it will give you lemon also. But never put something which is beyond those numbers of options you have. So example, you will put five. Technically speaking, the computer will not recognize it because there's no fifth options on your formula that you have done there. So that's the basic thing we have uh, on this particular choose formula. So let's go to sample number one where we have to solve it. So this is not really important here, the legend, but uh, just for the demonstration purposes, I'll show you these things so one represents bad normal good and very good as the option so we have random numbers now let's take a look at how it's done so first thing first you have to go to the cell where you want the answer to appear so you should select b to at this moment so you can actually type the formula here with starting with equal or for me i'd like to use the insert function uh, options here so in this particular thing if it's already available just choose it if it's not type the formula you'd like to and then click go and you will have it click ok there you have the options you have so the first thing is you want to get the reference of the value you want which is this one here because we want to get what is the equivalent of number two at this moment it's gonna be normal but we will not put normal by default we want the formula to do it so now the values that you want so we have a reference as one two three four so the value one will be bad so you will put f4 for that to make it an absolute reference value two is normal absolute reference by pressing f4 in your keyboard value three is good again f4 and the last one is very good another a4 you have to press but never put an a4 uh, f4 i mean on index number since we will be working with other numbers here below so just click ok and right now it gives us the value of normal so just simply double click this particular uh, fill handle and you will now get all the answers that you need for so let's check if they are all correct so now we have three which is replied uh, which is emphasized as good we have four which is very good so that is very convenient to use if you know already how to use this choose function so that is basically for uh, simple calculation now let's move to the third possible examples that we can have so we have the sample number two which a little bit uh, complicated but if you learn how it is it's not that hard so our objective is simple we just want to see the total trips the income or would say i changed the word into transactions actually so we would say total transactions here mm -hmm. all right <clears throat> total trans transactions we have here which it will tally the number based on the quarters which i already have it quarter one quarter two three and four 
and that's how it is done in here based on the label that i have so what you will do instead uh for me right now i don't want to touch any of this i want formula to go with it so i can only put here the input numbers that i want so if i'll put one i'll get one there if i'll put two i'll get two three and so on four of course uh, it will accept out of that particular quarter but it should not put anything nothing if i don't have to put here so actually this is not part of the discussion for today but i'm using an if functions to do that so that it will get the data from here and it will display nothing if there's nothing there now how we can get the total example i will put to here so our objective is the computer will generate or the excel will generate the total transaction if you are looking for for the quarter two meaning all of this will be added it will display here as uh, 17 it will display here as uh, 82,400 in this income and so on in here without you know uh, inputting or putting anything else other than the four number here we wanted to so how we can do it so let's now take a look on how we will use the formula so with the total transactions as your first uh, first reference so you will first use the choose function so choose the choose function here and you will now input the index value so what your index value will be this one it will be based on whatever number it will show here now what will be the sequence of your value so the sequence of your value will be based on first quarter this is your one two three and four so value one will be this do not lock because we will need be will be needing this also do no need to make it an absolute reference so just value two will be this value three will be this one and value four will be this one so that essentially what you need for now but it will give us um, an answer which is wrong because basically the computer is not adding all these things here it's just getting a reference out of this data so it's not it's not what we really need at this moment so what you actually need to do right now is simply get this particular data the choose data and then simply cut that one and put that one inside the sum formula so put like this and then input that particular formula that you have so now inside of the sum function the computer will choose which one to add first so this is what needs to be added based on the information and of course there are two open bracket so you have to do the closing twice as well so now when you press enter you will have 17 on total transactions on quarter two which is if you really add it's gonna be 17 here so let's try to make it into quarter four so now it gives us 30 which is if you add these three numbers it will give us 30 so that's how it is so the only thing you have to do right now is simply drag and drop oh before i forgot our reference for this one is actually this quarter alone so what you will do go back to your function and make sure to reference b8 should be locked so you should put that particular uh, absolute reference there press enter again and simply drag and drop so there you have it so the income of the quarter one would say will give us a value of forty three thousand so this is the thing here if you look at the number below it's gonna be 43,650 that's how it is but our profit at this moment we don't have and that can auto be automatically be generated if you input numbers on the profit field so which is basically the profit of the business is based on the income minus the expenditures that they have so just this is not included in the lesson for today but you can just simply select the cell by putting subtraction sign and put equal so here there you go so the number shows up and the more you drag it the number will change as well based on the profit in here so there are other uses of this but just for beginners uh, or simple ideas on how it's used this choose function is really good to practice so again by changing the value of the input numbers will change accordingly based on your reference the only thing that matters is that don't put numbers which our computer cannot generate because it's not available or else it will not give values for that particular thing and that's how it is for video tutorial today i hope you have learned something and somehow you will follow the next videos that i have to make thank you and have a good day everyone